Hi, and uh, welcome to day two of week one for Leadership Ethics. Uh, there are a few things I want to talk to you about today. Uh, one of them has to do with the process. So uh, you were writing your introductions and a moral dilemma uh, that you were supposed to finish by 6 o'clock last night on Monday. And uh, we call that the turn. So when we get to the end of one part of a discussion post where everybody has entered some information, when we begin the second part where everybody goes back and reviews that information and begins to contribute something new, at that point that's called the turn. And so now we're after the turn and either you already have or you will soon be going back to the discussion board and reviewing what everybody wrote. And in addition to getting to become more familiar with the rest of the students in class, you'll also be looking at the moral dilemmas that they posted and choosing a couple of those that are most intriguing to you and begin to talk about in the discussion posts uh, how you might deal with them, what you think are the critical issues to consider when looking at a case like this, what would you do if you were faced with this kind of dilemma, and, and most importantly, why. And we'll get a chance to have a dialogue about that. People can respond to uh, not only the dilemmas themselves, but to your approach to how you would deal with the dilemma. And I'll weigh in on the discussion board as well. And in addition to just being a bit of an icebreaker for us, this is also an opportunity to begin thinking about how we're going to have conversations about moral dilemmas that happen in our professional practice. And uh, another way to help us do that is through the, the theory behind uh, how we think through moral problems and, and normative ethics. And so I've provided two readings for you to consider both of those issues today. Uh, and and when it's the reading is posted for today, that means you should have already completed it going into the day because it will inform the work that you do on the discussion board. Now, the first one is authored by myself and has to do with the role of learning theory and teaching ethics in a college curriculum. And I, I assign that one mostly because I want to give you an opportunity to think about you know, what are the kinds of, of uh, uh, psychological constructs that, that I want you to consider. And, and that will be driving the way that I structured this class. And so you'll notice that I make reference to the Arkansas program uh, several times in that article. And I'm talking about a program that includes this course. So I thought that it would give you some insights uh, into how the course is structured and the way that we're going to be working together. Uh, the next one is, is more of a reference uh, than, than a dialogue, really. But the reference has to do with uh, so normative terms uh, in, in ethics and the philosophy of ethics as opposed to the psychology of ethics, which I talk about in the first article. And it's really meant to give you a bit of a background. Some of you may already be well-versed in some of these terms, so it will just be a refresher for you. But if, if some of these ideas and terms are new for you, then it's good to get them under your belt now because we'll be referring to them and using them uh, throughout the semester. So that's really the structure of the day, is diving back into the discussion board, uh, tackling those moral dilemmas a little bit, um, thinking about the readings when you're doing that, which I, which I think will be helpful for you. And then, and then tomorrow we'll be looking at a video, and I'll have, I'll have some more information for you about that moving forward. Now, you've also had a chance to, to explore the website by now, and maybe look ahead in the readings a little bit. And so you may have questions. Uh, I'll be posting one of my video blogs later this week. We'll talk about uh, grading for the course. And so I'll just go through what all the assignments are, try to answer some of your questions ahead of time. If after that point you still have uh, sort of unresolved questions uh, having to do with grading or the way the course is structured, uh, don't hesitate to, to ask a question on the discussion board, and uh, I'll try to give you an answer as quickly as possible. Great. Uh, looking forward to seeing you online. Thanks.